Hello, I am Milka Jurle, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today we are going to learn what is mechatronics and introduction to mechatronics. Let's see learning outcome. At the end of this session, learners will be able to recall basic definitions of mechatronics and understand elements of mechatronic system. Uh, before going for the definition of mechatronics, uh, there are various definitions which are uh, quoted by many researchers. So today we are going to see few of them. The word mechatronics is composed of mecha from mechanics and tronics from electronics. Hence the word is derived as mechatronics. The term mechatronics was first assigned by Mr. Tetsuro Mori, a senior engineer of Japanese company Yaskawa in 1969. So let's see the definitions quoted by various researchers. Harashima and Tomizuka, they uh, gave the definition of mechatronics as the synergetic integration of mechanical engineering with electronics and intelligent computer control in the design and manufacturing of industrial products and processes. The next definition is given by Mr. Oslander and Kemp. They say mechatronics is the application of complex decision making to the operation of physical system. The next mechatronics definition is given by Mr. Oslander and Kemp. They say it is the application of complex decision making to the operation of physical systems. Mr. Shetty and Koch say mechatronics is a methodology used for optimal design of electromechanical products. Mr. W. Bolton gives the definition. He says mechatronic system is not just a marriage of electrical and mechanical systems and is more than just the control system. It is a complete integration of all of them. So these were the few definitions quoted by a uh, few researchers. Now let's see the key elements of mechatronic system. Figure 1 shows the key elements of mechatronic systems. Uh, this is uh, the block diagram of mechatronic systems where it consists of modeling, analysis, integrated system design and testing. So it consists of various mechanical systems, electrical systems, graphical displays and output signal conditioning and interfacing. So the actuators and sensors constitute of mechanical systems whereas input signal conditioning and interface and digital control architecture constitutes of electrical systems. So here we see the graphical displays, LEDs, LCDs, digital displays and CRT and uh, in this block that is output signal conditioning and interfacing, uh, digital to analog converter, amplifiers and the it's the complete block is known as real time interfacing. The mechatronic system is classified into five different categories. Uh, they are first one is information systems. Second one is mechanical systems. Third is electrical systems. Fourth one is computer systems. And the fifth one is real time interfacing. Modeling is the process of representing the behavior of real system by collection of mathematical equations and logic. Models can be broadly classified into static or dynamic. Models can be classified into 
static modeling and dynamic modeling in static modeling uh, there is uh, there is no any effect of thermal changes or any force applied the system is the name itself indicates the system is static whereas in dynamic all the properties system properties are taken into consideration mechanical systems are concerned with the behavior of matter under the action of forces uh, mechanical systems not only consist of uh, machine components it also consists of uh, fluid systems uh, pneumatic systems thermal system acoustic and chemical systems figure number 2 shows the mechanical system components like rack and pinion cam and follower sprocket and chain and slider and crank so these are the examples of mechanical system components so as we have discussed uh, mechanical system consist of actuators and sensors actuators produce or cause the motion actuators uh, usually are electrical mechanical fluid power or pneumatic based actuators transform electrical inputs into mechanical outputs such as force angle and position sensors detect the state of system parameters inputs and outputs sensors are required to monitor the performance of machines and processes there are various types of sensors and actuators present in the market uh, figure number 3 shows uh, the actuator that is dc motor and figure number 4 shows flexi force sensor there has there are various types of sensors like uh, potentiometer sensor flow meter orifice meter load cell and n number of sensors are available electrical systems are concerned with the behavior of three fundamental quantities like charge current and voltage or it can also be called as a potential are concerned with the behavior of the three fundamental quantities they are charge current and voltage the examples of electrical systems are resistor capacitor inductor transformer and analog signals the input signal conditioning and interfacing systems provide connection between the control circuits and input output devices the graphical displays of device produce visual feedback to the users the real time interfacing includes analog to digital converters digital to analog converters and signal conditioning circuits and sampling theory the the overall control of the system is carried out by digital controls figure number 5 shows analog to digital converter now i want you to pause the video for few seconds and list down the various mechatronic systems that you come across in your day to day life so let's see the few examples of mechatronic systems auto focus camera robotics washing machine engine management systems microwave ovens camcorders aircraft flight control and navigation systems numerically controlled machine tools photocopiers and barcode readers so these are uh, the examples of mechatronic systems like most of the home appliances electronic home appliances are uh, made up of mechatronics system and the various robots 
uh, in the late 70s, the Japan Society for the Promotion of Machine Industry classified mechatronics products into four different categories that is class 1, class 2, class 3 and class 4. Let's see what is class 1 product. Class 1 products, uh, they are primarily mechanical products with electronics incorporated to enhance functionality. So the examples are numerically controlled machine tools and variable speed drivers in manufacturing machines. The class 2 systems are, those are traditionally mechanical systems with significantly updated internal devices incorporating electronics. The example includes modern sewage machine and automated manufacturing systems. Class 3 systems are, they retain the functionality of the traditional mechanical systems, but the internal mechanisms are replaced by electronics. The example is digital watch. Class 4 products, they are designed with mechanical and electronic technologies through synergetic integration. The example includes photocopiers, intelligent washers and dryers rice cookers and automatic ovens. These are the references. Thank you.